Congressman, you've had an excellent partner uh, in your efforts with SOAR, and I think it'd be a good time for us to hear from uh, our governor, Governor Steve Bashir. Thank you. Thank you all very much. It's obviously great to be here today, and it's great to be in a room that's so filled with promise, promise about the future of Eastern Kentucky, about the future of our entire state. You know, Congressman Rogers and I have worked on a number of projects before. But our partnership in the Shaping Our Appalachian Region initiative, and in particular in this high-speed broadband project, has been particularly rewarding. I've said it often, I'm a Democrat, Congressman's a Republican. I've got my blue tile, he's got his red tile. <laughs> but folks, we're Kentuckians first. And the reason that this is going to be successful is because all of us in this region are going to remember that we're Kentuckians first. And we're going to put aside all of the regional, the geographic, the party differences and make this work. Because if this works, and it will, you're going to see a region that will be transformed from a place where people are crying for jobs to a place where employers won't be able to find enough people to fill those jobs. That's what this means for Eastern Kentucky. What's important? we all know this, is strengthening the economic competitiveness of our region and of our state and improving the quality of life for all of our families. You know, Washington and the partisan political world ought to take a lesson from what we're doing here in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. This is what collaboration is all about. This is the way the process is supposed to work. Well, I'm proud to say that it does work right here in Kentucky. It works between Congressman Rogers and myself. It works between Senate President Robert Stivers and Speaker Stumbo of our House and Senate. And because of that, we're seeing great progress in our Commonwealth. Because of that, we're standing here today making this happen. I want to also thank Jared, Jared Arnett, and I think he deserves a round of applause right now for his hard work and dedication. And he's right, this is one of, if not the most important infrastructure projects ever to be put in place in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. We all know that to be viable, a region needs a lot of things. It needs good roads, it needs utility lines, it needs railroad tracks, needs electricity, running water. Well, folks, high-speed broadband is just as essential as every one of those to the success of a region. Because those other things in and of themselves are no longer enough. We are in the age of information. And information needs to be able to move and be shared quickly and reliably and in big batches. Kentucky Wired will help us not only catch up to other states, but leap past many of them and where they are today. As you know and the congressman pointed out, the Commonwealth is investing in what we call the Middle Mile Network. That is the network system that delivers high-speed broadband to communities. If you think of a road analogy, this middle mile is the interstate and state highway system. The Kentucky Wired Network is transforming the current 
two-lane 45-mile-an-hour middle mile to a 10-lane superhighway with no speed limits at all. That is what a drastic change we're going to see. It will be capable of moving big batches of information at light speed. But even that is not enough. An interstate typically doesn't go right up to your house. You need exit ramps. You need side roads. You need streets. And that is the other thing that the congressman mentioned. In parts of the Commonwealth today, broadband still travels on the equivalent of cow paths and dirt roads. On our highway, the so-called last miles of the system are up to you, the individual communities, to build. They must construct the smaller lines and connections that bring light and high-speed broadband straight to the businesses and to the homes in each and every community. What's called the fiber to the premise section is going to be the key to Kentucky Wired's success. For everybody to benefit, communities or the service providers in those communities, existing or brand new, must invest in fiber-based infrastructure to take full advantage of this effort. Or you can create a public entity to help carry that out. Our state finance cabinet has put together a fiber planning guidebook that includes a complete planning process for communities and utility and service providers to analyze, to organize, to plan, and to model their broadband future. We've also put together an overview of federal funding opportunities that communities could tap into to support connecting to this middle mile. The State Office of Broadband Outreach and Development will be presenting a series of free webinars beginning late September through the end of this year to talk about these issues. Topics will include building stakeholder involvement, comprehensive planning, best practices for getting your community fiber ready, and attracting private investment. So today, we begin building the Kentucky Wired Highway and a lot of hands have been involved. And I want to congratulate everybody who's been involved. But we need to keep focused. We need to keep focused on this project for years to come. The fact that we're starting in Eastern Kentucky shows the potential impact of this project on every aspect of society. When Kentucky Wired is complete, Kentuckians in every corner of our state will be able to tap in to the global economy, to compete for higher paying jobs, to collaborate with researchers across the globe, to take classes online, or access increased medical care. That's an exciting thought. And folks, let me just leave you with this word. The congressman showed you this cable that's going to be laid all across Kentucky. How many miles? Someone told me 3,400 miles of this will be laid all across Kentucky. But the congressman and I want you to notice how this is shaped because we're also going to use this as the equivalent of a buggy whip <laughs> to make sure that this job gets done. Thank you all very much.